Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mathematics, channel with really interesting questions every day and today we have a really interesting challenge, we have 40 minus 20 divided by 2 and minus 6. So this looks like a pretty easy problem, but many of you are going to get this wrong and you'll probably be a little bit shocked, but don't panic, I'm going to fully explain you where you're probably going to get this wrong and how to avoid this particular mistake. Well, let me go ahead and tell you the problem we have. We have 40 minus 20 divided by 2 minus 6. So here's our challenge, nothing hard. As you can see, we have subtraction, division, subtraction. So everyone learns this stuff in the in the third grade. So that's fantastic. And right now, go ahead and put your answer down into the comment section. Right here, we have three options, A, B, and C. So choose one option. What do you think is a correct? And write your option down into the comment section. And of course, we don't want to use our calculator. Let's use our super brain in our head. And let's check our answers in the end of the video. It will be a really interesting and tricky question. So one part of students solve this question like that. We have our question 40 minus 20 divided by 2 and minus minus 6. So here's our question and one part of students solve this question like that, they go from, from left to right, we have 40 minus 20 on the left hand side which is equal to which is equal to 20 and then we have divided by 2 and minus 6 which is equal to from the left hand side we have 20 divided by 2 once more we have 10 and maybe 10 minus 6 equal to 4. As you can see, we don't have this option right here, but a lot of students solve this question like that. That is the big mistake in terms of math, because as you can see, we just go from left to right, and of course, we don't know about order of operation, because right here, obviously, whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem. Division first, then subtraction, or subtraction first, then division, or maybe another order, because as you can see, whatever order of operation we select, we will have a different answer. So for this question, we should learn, we should know about mass uh, about order of operation. Let's look for example in this PMDMC order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. All the internet libraries, scientific graph and calculator works according to PMDMC. And let's check this question. Let's check with this four maybe. Let's solve this question according to PMDMC. So we have our question 40 minus 20 divided by 2 and minus 6. Okay, this PMDMC works from the top to the bottom and we should go through the steps. The first step, parentheses. Let's look at it. Where do we have these parentheses right here? For me personally, I don't see any parentheses, so we just, we just skip this part. We don't have any parentheses, any bracket, and it's really good for us. We just skip this part with parentheses. Exponent. What about exponent? Maybe squares, cubes right here. For me personally, I don't see any of those. So we just skip this part. We don't have any exponents. So we just skip this part with exponent. Next step. Multiplication and division. This is one common group. We, we can forget about it because multiplication is uh, with division have the same priority. So we should find multiplication and division signs. Let's look at it. Where do we have multiplication and division sign? Right here we have subtraction, we are not interested in this. <clears throat> right here we have division. So we should start from this division. We have division right here and we don't have any multiplication sign. So as you can see, we, we should start from this division. This is our first step. We don't have parentheses, we don't have exponent, we don't have multiplication, but we have division, which is really good. So we should start from this division. And I want to go further. Right here we have our last step. This is addition and subtraction group. So addition and subtraction have the same priority as well. So from left to right, we should go from left to right. And if you scan this expression, we have we don't have <coughs> addition, but we have subtraction. So as you can see, we have only two steps, division and subtraction. And if you look closely to this P in DMC, division is all the time before subtraction, which is really important step for us. So we, so we should do the thing with division and then we should uh, subtract this expression, this value that we left. Okay, so we have 40 minus 20 divided by 2 equal to 10 and minus minus 6. So if we subtract, so we complete this division part, if we subtract this expression, we have 30 minus 6, we have 24. But one really important moment, as you can see, we don't have this option 4, we don't have this option 24 right here, so a lot of students confused about this about this uh, question, because they don't see this option right here, then maybe someone go back to this answer 4, which is absolutely incorrect, because this is very bad mistake in math, if you start subtraction, then division, which is really bad. Of course, with parentheses, this is a uh, okay solution, because right here we subtract it first, this is inside parentheses, which is really good, with parentheses. But in our case, we don't have any parentheses, so we just forget about this solution, which is really bad. Let's look, for example, at this at this solution. We have 24, and of course this is a correct answer in terms of uh, order of operation, but what about this option? Right here we have three options, A, B, and C, but what is the correct answer? 5, 7, but this 5, 4 factorial, let's look at this. So 4 factorial, this is a product from 1 
times 2 times 3 and times 4, which is equal to 24. Yeah, so we have 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times 4, 24. So as you can see, our answer hides right here in option C. So we can easily say that our correct answer to this question is option C is 24. So our answer, this is 24 option. Option C is a correct answer. So I hope you understand my explanation. I hope you learned something new. If you need help with any of these classes, you can just go through my YouTube channel. I have a ton of videos. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.